Is this a body bag? <laughs> All right, tell me, on a scale of one to 10, where do I fall? You know what I would kill for right now? A gas station burrito. Let me consult my compass. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this is Tools of the Trade, the show where we figure out what everyday items do everyday entrepreneurs need to succeed. And we're really excited about this week's episode because we are featuring the entrepreneur Tate Morgan. And what we learned about Tate is Tate is the founder of something called the Gambler 500. Now the Gambler 500 is, it's not a race, it is a, off-road, on-road, navigational adventure that happens once a year where people gather and they collect cars that were valued at around $500. So people get scrap cars, they get repurposed cars, they get boats, they get mobile vehicles that they find a way with a very limited budget um, to make into something that could drive off-road and on-road. And what started in 2014 as a small event of about 10 people over the course of the past four years has blown up into something that got almost 1,400 people last year. And what happens is not only does this, uh, is this a wonderful event for the community and a great opportunity for community building, but these drivers are also going around and they're cleaning up the highways and the byways while they're driving around. Okay, let's see what's inside of this box because I bet there's some really cool stuff. It's really full. It's really full. It's loaded. Okay, so we've got a hat. We've got a shirt. We've got gloves. We've got, ooh, a vanity sticker. And we've got, what's this? Oh, yeah, a night, what is this, a hoodie? Ooh, I like this. Like I'm trying to think of how I could get a $500 vehicle. That's less than my student loan payment. I would buy an old golf cart and I'd put spikes on the wheels. I, it just hit me that this is not Mad Max. I feel like it's kind of adjacent to Mad Max, but it's not. So I actually now that I think about it, I would take the spikes off the wheels and I'd probably invest that money in maybe like a safety feature, like a seatbelt or like a nice little booster seat for a noodle. Maybe I keep one spike just on like the front right wheel. If someone tries to get in my way, <laughs> my little golf cart. Okay, <laughs> okay, the next item we've got in the Tate Morgan box is, oh yeah, these are sunglasses. All right, tell me, on a scale of one to 10, where do I fall? Anyway, I think these are fabulous. Gotta have these for driving. Basically gotta have these for sun. Right. I was in upstate New York this past weekend visiting my family and like, I should not be allowed to operate a vehicle. I have a driver's license, it's totally valid. I, it's legal and I have no business operating a car at all whatsoever. Not because I'm a bad driver, but because I do this thing where I will forget rules of driving sometimes. That makes me a bad driver, doesn't it? I think that does make me a bad driver. Anyway, if I had sunglasses, I might've been a better driver. The next item we've got in the Tate Morgan box is, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Noodle, they're flip-flops. They're billabong flippy floppies. I have never seen a singular item that has made more impact on my day or my life than pulling out a pair of flip-flops from this. Casual, beachy, easy, breezy. Maybe not the best for driving, but wonderful footwear. Um, I live in New York City and you wouldn't catch me dead wearing a pair of these. You wear these for about five minutes walking around Times Square and you better look for a city MD. But Tate, being someone who lives in a much less urban area, probably gets a lot of joy putzing around in these. I wear boots, even in the summer. It could be 90 degrees and you see my feet with a wool sock farting around New York City. You know why? Because something's gonna kill me and it's not gonna be because I stepped on something walking around New York. That's not gonna be it. I mean, it could be walking around New York getting hit by a car. You know what would be horrible? Getting hit by a $500 car. If I'm gonna get hit by a car, please let it be something worth at least 65, 70 plus. It doesn't have to be like the newest model Mercedes, but not one from like 2016 or anything like that. The next item, the next item we have in the Tate Morgan box is, is, it a, is this a body bag? Gambler 
500 is the largest trail cleanup in the world. And that is an amazing feat considering this has only been around for a few years. People get together and they really not only enjoy each other's company, but they really enjoy being able to clean up their area. I can think of no better way to spend your day except for maybe watching The Crown on Netflix. The next item we have in the Tate Morgan box is, oh, I love to see this. It's a fire extinguisher. This is an automobile fire extinguisher, so everyone should have this. Obviously, if you're working in a business or you're running some kind of activation that involves a lot of automobiles, you have to be prepared with fire safety. But I tell you, I got a fire extinguisher for my apartment and I have never felt more safe. I don't lock my doors anymore. I leave all my windows open. I literally fan out my kitchen knives on my counter every night with a note that says, go ahead, give it a try. But I feel totally safe because I have a fire extinguisher. The next item in the Tate Morgan box is, oh, it's a compass. Oh, this is, this is a really nice compass. Tate let us know that as you're driving around, these people are driving around in the wilderness or they're truly off, off-roading. You need to be able to find out where you're going next. You need to be able to know which way's north, which way's south, where's the nearest gas station. You never know when you're in the middle of the woods, picking up trash, driving around with your friends in your $500 car going, you know what I would kill for right now? A gas station burrito. Let me consult my compass. Okay, the next item we've got in the Tate Morgan box is, it's called gum out. Used in gas, ethanol, flex fuel, diesel, and biodiesel engines. Oh, so this is for your engine. It provides the deepest clean with advanced P. You don't have to be a car person to know that if you get the opportunity to pursue anything with advanced P, go for it. Right, that's just something you know. And the final item we have in the Tate Morgan box is, so it's fake money. But it's like, it look, they look like a little holiday, little, it's a little holiday money. So this is like $500 that you need um, to get your vehicle going to participate in the Gambler 500. And I also love this because I know it's not real, but anytime I'm holding, you know, $500 in my hand, which has happened zero times, all I can think about are the things that I would spend it on. Obviously, I would first thing I would do is I would soup up a golf cart to participate in the Gambler 500. I would buy like three bottles of, of really nice Japanese whiskey and then spend the remainder on like really fast food. I would have this divided up into 500 $1 bills and I would flit around the city and I would give it to anyone who asked me for a dollar. That's what I would do. I would do that. If someone asked me for a dollar, I would say, ha ha, I have this. Oh my God, maybe I'd give some of it to my mom. She did, what does she need it for? She's fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's it. That's everything that's in the box. This box is empty. Woo, what a doozy. Tate, you curated a really, really, wonderful uh, slew of items for us. I feel like I know so much not only about who you are as a person, but about why you're so passionate about Gambler 500 and how this has become such a massive part of not only your life, but the life of a lot of community members. If you like this video and you wanna see more of it, please uh, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notifications whenever uh, this a new episode of Tools or another video in the GoDaddy uh, content umbrella goes live on YouTube. So for Noodle, for myself, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video and be sure to tune in next time.